take a crushed and empty can of soda, restore and seal it using the laws of physics, more specifically, Boyle's Law. The visual effect of an opened can is from this tiny black tab. A typical can of Pepsi has a pressure of 40 psi which is equivalent to 276 kilopascals. What causes this pressure inside of the can? Carbon dioxide is dissolved in the soda to provide the bubbles and fizz. Think about the movements of these gas particles. They move in a random motion and collide into the walls of the container. Let's look at the equation pressure is force divided by area. This is the total force due to the collisions of particles on the walls, that's the area of the container walls. Together, they give the can an internal pressure. And that's why when I pierce the can, the pressure forces the soda out. We need to empty two-thirds of the soda until it begins dripping like this. Now give the can a gentle squeeze to make it look like someone has crushed it after drinking the soda. According to Boyle's law, the pressure of the gas is inversely proportional to its volume, which means that the pressure will increase if the volume of the container decreases. That's because when we decrease the volume, the gas particles can collide with the walls more frequently. This makes sense because as force increases, pressure will also increase, assuming area stays the same. When I crush the can, we have decreased the can's volume such that the pressure should increase. But don't forget that we've pierced a hole in the can where gas can escape. So when we perform this trick, we have to put our thumb over the hole to seal the can. Moving the can around helps release the dissolved carbon dioxide. You can also just hold it still, but it'll take a little bit longer for the carbon dioxide to expand the can. Finally, sweep the black tab away from the top of the can then you have your restored Pepsi Max.